blue and green. Together again for the sixth installment of the Noble Exercise Series, but this time, Noble Fusion took joint cooperation to a whole new level. The America and Essex Amphibious Ready Groups, along with the 31st and 11th Marine Expeditionary Units, together integrated with the Abraham Lincoln Carrier Strike Group and the Japan Self-Defense Force. Well, the really cool thing was all the stars aligned. Our ARG Mu, 31st Mu, and Fibron 11 together, but then we also had the 11th Mu, the Fibron 1, uh, transiting through as well, and then you couple that with we had the carrier. So all the, all the stars aligned perfectly. That's a, a, a phenomenal amount of firepower that comes together. I think it was good for the world to see, frankly, and it's good for our partners to see as well. Navy and Marine commanders at multiple levels exercised flexible command and control across nine ships and ashore, with more than 10,000 U.S. and Japanese troops operating in the air, on land, and sea. Well, Noble Fusion was one of the largest activities that was taking place in the Indo-Pacific region since 2018. What it allowed us to do was to demonstrate the ability to aggregate two ARG MUs to create synergistic effects at a time and place of our choosing. And why we did that is to execute sea denial, to seize key maritime terrain, combine joint effects to create joint solutions. We do what we do every time we go to sea. Twice a year, every year, we rehearse to execute crisis response with partners and allies, and we demonstrate that there is no better friend and there is no worse enemy than the United States Marine Corps and our naval partners. In the Philippine Sea, Lieutenant John Stevens.